Hey everybody, it's Rob Appel making it fun. Michael Miller Fabrics and we are out on another shop tour adventure. It's story time and you are gonna absolutely love this quilt shop. Oh, looks Hi like there. we found ourselves another great looking quilt shop. Where am I at? Prairie Point Quilt and Fabric Shop here in Lenexa, Kansas. And welcome, Rob Appel. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> this is beautiful. Susan, you want to give us a quick walkabout? Okay, we'll do that. Um, where should we start? Oh my goodness, I, I my eyes are just <laughs> blowing up in here. I mean, this is amazing. Let's, let's just well, hold still for a second. We never okay. give the in the door pan. Oh, here, there's no. Amanda. How you doing, Amanda? Good. Are you exhausted from all that great fabric you were just buying? You know, it was a lot. And it's a busy day in the shop. They've got a class going on on calling this stuff. So there's a little bit of noise, but that's all right. We're just going to have fun. Yeah, I was just going to bring you over to the corner because we saw that you guys had everyday stitches in the catalog. And mm -hmm. these are their quilts. We made that one, the Spools quilt. Isn't that great? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Yeah, we're really fortunate. We have a lot of good designers here in Kansas City. So we are so fortunate to get to have them come in. Yeah, um, this is the one that was in your and this uh, was catalog that you were featuring. Mm -hmm. yeah. This yeah. Uh, pattern. The courtyard yeah. pattern. Yeah, they're great pattern partners. Yeah. Love working with them. Yeah, they're really fun. Jennifer actually taught a class for us. You said they were local. Yeah, they are. So right cool. here in town. Yeah. Yes. Right. Um, very fun. Do you uh, ship patterns over the internet and we that do. kind of thing? So all folks were following our, our yeah. video? Almost all of our inventory is online. So we do shipping out of here just about every day. Wow. We ship patterns, fabric, kits. We ship all over the country. Yep. Yeah. We have a pretty decent um, loyal following too because we also do the Facebook Live. So we have people from all over the country that watch oh. our show. And when um, is Facebook every, Live? Uh, Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. Nine o'clock. And yeah. we're in Central Time right now. And we are in Central Standard Time. Got it. Yes. And uh, if you know me, I have no idea really where I'm at at the moment. So, <laughs> oh, I got to say this though. This is great. The mismatched socks yeah. from Soulmate. We used to carry these at my mom's quilt shop oh, yeah. and I, I love them. I yeah. have many a pairs. Yeah. These are really cool. They I haven't really seen some of these new styles. Nice. Sorry, I got a little distracted. And, no, you're fine. Yeah. They're so fun. In fact, I haven't the, seen all of these. The lately. children's ones come right? um, three. A pair with a spare. Oh my goodness. I had yeah. oh, that's a pair with a spare. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so you, you have entered into our juvenile section. Mm-hmm. So. Hence the third sock option. Yeah, and we also have another local quilt designer. And some of the stuff you see up there um, is Amy Bradley. Oh, and of course. And so we also have a ton of Amy Bradley yes. in the shop right now. And these are her quilts that she has loaned us. Thank you, Amy. I know, aren't they lovely? They are awesome. So we oh. get so many people just, I love her bright designs and colors. Right. She has a really good eye. Very playful. Look at all this. You've got the jumbo rick rack. You've got some tall goods. Yep, and then you're heading into our apparel section. Right. Oh, talk, let's talk more about that because I often visit quilt shops that don't have much for apparel. Well, so and I, yeah, I was going to say, and I think Susan, she's queen of apparel. We just, queen of apparel. <laughs> there she is. You're so, on the spot. Yeah, so um, I've always um, wanted to, to have apparel, and we have since we bought the shop uh -huh. um, eight years ago and um, been building it up. So we have rayons, we have canvas, a linen, cotton. Oh, it's just beautiful. Um, heavier weights, we have some denim. Mm -hmm. We got some uh, jersey knits in here now. Um, so just a little bit of everything. Can I test my knowledge? Okay. Okay, but you're welcome to correct me if I'm wrong. But oh, I, she, oh, she will, will she? Yeah, they're yes. Okay. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told that rayon feels cool to the touch. It is. It's it, very soft. And that's one of the reasons why it's such a nice fiber yes. to use, especially yes. for traveling in warmer yep. climates and yep. things. Uh -huh. Very breathable. All year round, though. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and this is... I've recently learned that it can be used on the back of a quilt. Oh, it's certainly. Very soft. Some quilt. of my first applique quilts were cotton rayon blends because I was using scraps from my Aloha shirts oh, okay. I was making at my mom's yeah. quilt shop a million and a half okay. years ago. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. yeah. And, and with fusible web, rayon will stick to yeah. anything too. No, that's exactly yeah. right. It covers a multitude of fabric sins when it comes to applique fabric and stuff sins. like that. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Fabric <laughs> sins. I love it. Well, let's go sin some more around that's your shop. Awesome. This is great. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. All these books yep, we have lots of books books do real well for us um we just keep reordering our our favorites in here so i had uh 
Well, someone on the internet had just commented, I love coming into your shop because you have everything by Annie. <laughs> oh, right. You do have quite mm -hmm. a bit of the by Annie zippers and patterns mm -hmm. and things like and that. Hardware. Mm -hmm. And hardware. And hardware. It's often mm -hmm. hard to find. Yeah. A lot of colors and zippers. So people don't realize how creative quilters are. It just really boils over into their whole life. It's not just quilts. Mm -hmm. It's everything. So. Oh, and here's something that's kind of unique. Black stabilizers and battings so that when you're using yes. your darker fibers, yeah. you don't have, yeah. yeah. People don't realize mm -hmm. how much it can show through mm -hmm. and really dull out some mm -hmm. of those real rich fabrics mm -hmm. if you have white so underneath. you don't even have to have black or real dark fabrics mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. to use it, that black. Yeah, you kind of lose some of the, how dynamic the fabric is with the white stabilizer. Well, it's getting loud over here because they're cutting all this fabric, so okay, we'll keep moving. So Here's our solids wall, right. and then we have some quilts that we hung up there that Aren't those things lovely. have been around a while, but we didn't really want to quite put them away, mm -hmm. so uh, they're up there to complement that. Well, I think people don't realize how much you can do with solids, so this was kind of a way for me, us to highlight how well solids could do in a quilt. What do you like the most about quilting with solids? I like it because I think it makes the design stand out. You aren't distracted mm -hmm. by the patterns. You really see the piecing. And sometimes that's the point. Sometimes the point is the piecing. Sometimes the point is the fabric. And so I think it highlights good piecing. Good. I'll show you our uh, fat quarter display here. Right. So most of our fat quarters we roll up. And so they, it takes up less space mm -hmm. um, to display them that way. I love the buckets. Collections metal are with their collection. But then when we mm -hmm. divide up the collection, we'll put them over here. Getting a little low on the uh, dark ones thinking, here. Well, in purple, I don't know why what we can't is keep purple what is in that? stock. Is it something about being near Kansas? I don't know, but purple is big. <laughs> right? <laughs> Boy, do we have a little of everything right. right now. It is a quilt shop. You're supposed to have a, a, a little of everything. A little of everything. Well, because you just never know what you're going to need, right? Well, and that's right. Or have a fabric that really just needs mm -hmm. that special pattern. And okay. so we call this our color wall. Because this is where we put in those textured yeah. bases. Um, we'll mm -hmm. also split up collections. So when mm -hmm. we don't have enough of something. So well, that's a good looking dot you got. Yeah, yeah it's I like really that. Nice. That's a nice looking dot you got. <laughs> and so this is great because a lot of times people have a hard time getting out of collections. And this mm -hmm. kind of gives them a little more inspiration to kind of spread out into other fabric <laughs> lines. So you're not stuck in a line. Once a shop owner, always a shop owner. Yeah. Are you tidying the I wall while I'm, I'm trying tidying. to video? I'm tidying. <laughs> It never ends. It never, what's going on in here? Absolutely. I, yeah. This is a workshop you ladies so this are doing? Is, um, this is Grids Girls, and what they do is they learn a new creative grids template every mm -hmm. month. And so this is a, is this a 12 month class, Susan? It is 12 months. And so for the gals who are just looking to up the next level, I teach the beginning quilting class here. Mm -hmm. So several of these gals were my students, and this is just a way to up their game, you know, mm -hmm. learn about some templates, kind of really improve their piecing skills and mm -hmm. give them some good tips and tricks when you go to a pattern and say, well, I don't want to make flying geese that way. Right. Okay. Well, now they know how because they've learned how with the Creative Grids rulers. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great class. I'm really impressed with the Creative Grids projects. I or products, excuse me. I have several of their rulers at home that I yeah, use. Yeah, they're too. just, they're sturdy. They're well marked. Mm -hmm. They, the instructions on them are fabulous mm -hmm. so it's really a great way to improve your skills mm -hmm. as a quilter yeah that's great we, keep, we have yeah. pre-cut enthusiasts so we do. honestly mm -hmm. we have a lot of really fun pre-cuts and then just mm -hmm. and some other basic slides Lots that we've fun. gotten right in. right beautiful palette it's just fun to look at them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then this is where some of our newer collections that we've kind of sold them down they move this way into mm -hmm. our wall so that they're still together but not quite in the featured place that they were up front. Right. And then of course, batiks. Of course, batiks. Batiks are my favorite. I like to do the old color run here through the batiks. This is, we call, I don't know, I call it handwork. We probably need to give it a better name. Sure. But embroidery, toweling, wool, um, cross stitch, all of those kinds of things we have over here because quilters are never still, even when they're sitting on their sofa. So a lot of quilters also have hand projects that they're working on. Mm -hmm. um, we have over there, we also have an English paper piecing section. So, cause I've decided quilters were that kid in class who always got in trouble because they can never sit still. Right. So <laughs> this is where we keep them out of trouble. Now, you know, part of my story is, well, I'm a recovering alcoholic. And so, oh, so I, you like to keep busy. I have to keep busy. Yeah. But yet I also am a professional artist working in quilting. And so when I think 
quilting, then I start to think work. So I have learned to keep my hands busy learning other techniques. So I learned to knit a few years ago. Nice. I learned to do some woodworking. Okay. I like to try to play music. It's just keeping the hands busy. Absolutely. And I don't believe scrolling over the internet on our that cell phone. That is not actually a hobby. No, you need to put it down. Even <laughs> if you're right. watching this video right now, go go out in the garden and get your hands dirty nice. or something like that. And then come in and touch all that wonderful white fabric in your Well, stash. yeah, no, yeah, and wash your hands first. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to sell more white fabric for you. Yeah, oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. <laughs> oh, wovens. Yes. Can we talk about wovens? Please. You know, people are always shocked at how many wovens we have because we feel like wovens should always be part of a good project. Um, they just have such rich texture. The hand on them is gorgeous. Um, I don't know. I love wovens. And you get and, brights in the wovens too. They're not always just kind no, of those earth tones. Well, and then the shot cottons are yeah. always beautiful. Mm -hmm. They just have, they're solid, but they still have a lot of texture. Um, and then of course this kind of dives over. We make clothes out of the wovens a lot. And so it's nice yeah. to kind of have fabrics that can play in both worlds really well. And Amanda, so. because you said you are a quilt teacher here for basic yeah. quilting, beginning quilting, can I put you on the spot? Do you offer any techniques when working with homespuns or wovens that might be different than working with a standard print cotton? You know, Do it's you one of those things, or? beginning quilters, the struggle that they have is really making sure that they're not on the bias. So the nice thing about checks is it's really easy to teach them because the, the pattern is the fabric right. and so when they're learning how to iron and stuff it's easy to see if they've skewed the fabric because of the checks right. and so really it's just one of those things I talk to them about how to cut it and tearing them and things like that to stay straight because as we all know being straight is what makes good quilts and so honestly I love it if they choose a homespun because it really helps them to see their technique and how mm -hmm. well it's going or if it's not going well so, wonderful yeah that's I love, great I love woven so Rob, let's take a look at our handbags over there. We I'd talked about to. supplies and things for let's them. Let's do that. So. Great yeah. idea. Okay, so we have, a, right now our bags are displayed up here and on the other side, so we can go around there. But we have a lot of different kinds. Um, this is the Quilts Illustrated um, brand. We have lots of biannie ones. Classes and bags, so mm -hmm. over really well. I like how you've actually made it so easy on all of us. Here's your pattern right here yeah. in the bag. You can just grab you it. And, yep. It yep. Is there anything more daunting than a giant pattern wall and you're trying to right. find that one? Right. This <laughs> is so, not okay. Yep, right over here. I, yeah. oh, that's just amazing. What a shop you have here. Thank you. And all the way back to the beginning where the uh, beautiful sky is outside. <laughs> and, uh, I know. It's not really made. It's great for looking at fabric, though. We bring right, it up here all right. the time. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, ladies, thank you for the beautiful tour. Thank you for the beautiful, uh, you know, opportunity to come in and see this great shop. And uh, give me your address okay. uh, and your email, website, all that stuff, Okay. Please. So we are Prairie Point um, Quilt and Fabric Shop because of the apparel. We are at 12116 West 95th Street in Lenexa, Kansas. Our phone number is 913-268-3, sorry, I had to think a minute, 3333. And you can reach us here at Prairie Point. We have a form, a contact form at our website at prairiepoint.com, or you can email it directly at prairiepoint at prairiepoint.com. And my name's Amanda, and my email is amanda at prairiepoint.com. And we would love to hear from you. Fantastic. I'm sure you will. This is an incredible spot. Okay, Thank so, you both again. Yeah, turn us on for uh, Facebook Live on Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. We'll see you out there. Okay. Great, Susan. Hey, how about a high five? All right. Here? Thanks. Wow, you are still there. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. <laughs> I know, I get a little long-winded sometimes. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you check out a few of the other ones we've created. I think they're terrific. And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell to be notified. I don't want you to miss a moment of the fun. Stay safe and happy sewing.